And as I said earlier, you can zoom it in and it should be looking like this. And now you can click on the green flag, which is the to run it. And now you can just try the game. If it has any mistakes, you can fix it. And it's okay to make mistakes though. So I'm just gonna put my name in here. I'm gonna answer it just like if I'm gonna be a, a user that I never played the game. Now we're going to start with the actual questions. And then everything should be working fine. Here are the options. And now I can answer. I'm going to say like no to see what it says. And there we go. I'm going to say just in here. And it says great. The waiting time. And then the thank you for playing my game. Now it should be working fine. And you can always add a sprite if you want like more animals. And you can have more questions and that's all up to you so now we're going to conclude with the last two important steps to finish off our game in here in this box in here you can change the title of your game in this case i'm gonna put um like change preview but you can put anything that you want based on your game and that's where you change it. Now to save it, you're gonna go on file and you're gonna go as save now. Once you click there, it should be done. You don't have to do anything else. It's already saved. And you can be living on the page and it should appear somewhere. So now you can go in your name and then you can go on the second box, which is in my things. And all of your games can be saved in here. And then you can anytime go back to it. And it should be there. Now the game should be finished. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial on how to make a game in Scratch. Thank you all for following us. And this is what um CoSpeak Lab does. They're gonna they're gonna be here to help you at all times. Um, if you want to check out more videos, they're on the all of the projects that are on their page. You can check them out. I have some of them that are on the link.